Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. We're going to discuss a quick video on basically how to uh, use the Google graphing calculator but in degrees uh, mode when you're basically graphing trig functions. So, so because right now in, in Google graphing calculator, the only way if, if you were to graph a function, let's say sine of x, it's going to look like yeah, it's, it's basically it's going to be in radians only. It's going to be in radians and it's going to look, well, it's, it's going to look something like this. And obviously, you know, this is 2 pi, except they have the exact values in a Google Graph Calculator. I'll bring it up in a bit and this is going to be pi. But let's say you wanted to graph in degrees. So instead of pi, it should say 180. And then instead of 2 pi, well, that's going to be 360 right here. Yeah, so basically, if you were to go to google.ca uh, right here, let's just write, uh, or google.com, just go to sine of x. As, it, as you can see, it's in radians, because instead of 180, it goes to something, 2 point something, or 3, 3.14, which is pi. And then it goes up to here somewhere, yeah, right here, uh, 6.24, or something like that. So basically, to change this to radians, you can't do it... I like there's no option to change it. I don't, I, I don't know of any, but you could just do this with simple math, and that's basically if you, if this is going to be radians, if x is going to be in radians, let's say instead of pi we want it to to be 180, and so all you could do is write it as sine x. So basically we want this x value to be 180, but still equal pi radians, and that you could just put a pi over a 180. So this is a ratio of radian to degrees, so that's just the ratio here. Ignore the units for uh, this case. So basically it's going to be uh, ratio of this, so basically if, if this was 180, so if x equals to 180, then we're going to have basically a sine 180 times it by pi divided by 180. The 180's cancel and we're left with sine of pi. But then the x value is going to be 180, and we're going to have it here. So it's going to be in radian. Well, I'll put in quotation marks. So it's not really in degrees. It's going to be in degrees, or the x axis will represent degrees, but it's still radians. But that, so, but it's just going to be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be. It's going to be in radians, but it's going to look like degrees because we're 180. But it's just going to be like a bit messed up. But it's pretty good. You should just try it. So let's just put it in right now. So sine x times by pi, just put P, pi for pi in Google, divided by 180. As you can see, this is what I mean, kind of messed up, because it, it's, uh, this uh, there's a lot of stuff to it, but if you were to zoom in, just go to here, just to zoom in, to make it a better, uh, yeah, better location here. So as you can see, there's 180, that's that that's at the pi area, and now it goes up to 360, and that's right here. So basically, we've converted to degrees, or a parent degree. It just looks like degrees, but even though it's radian, that's why it starts off squish. And you can also go like something like from 0 to 360, just to make it a bit easier. That should work. Yeah, so there you go. 0 to 360, and we're having. Well, that's all for today. I just wanted to uh, show this little clever way of uh, still have, still using Google Calculator because it's just better than any other calculator, but without having, yeah, but then using it in degrees if you have to or you're doing working with a question that's degrees and it's just easier to work with it instead of having to go to another calculator. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this and uh, yeah, you could download this little uh, the notes I just scribbled down in the Dropbox link below and try it out for yourself. Anyways, that's all for today and stay tuned for another math easy solution.